I'm doing the next two or three videos somewhat out of order and then I'm going to show you how to create these really nice uh, image uh, radio buttons and image checkbox in the, the next video. I sort of already showed you how to do the uh, image button in a previous video although I'm doing it in a slightly different way here. I'm just directly adding the image to the button rather than using an image list. But what I really want to talk about in this video is using an enum and uh, in combination with the checkbox checked to determine what state we're in. And in the actual program I'm writing this for, there's two conditions that cause this ch state to be checked. One is the end of media being reached, which is like a, an event that happens periodically. And the other is if this button is pressed, which is a run button, which in effect says immediately check the state and react to it. So if we look at the uh, code behind, just click on, double click on this and look at the uh, form load. I initially set a variable called curseState to buttonState.sequential. And if we look at the top, I have a, an enum of buttonState that has three enum values, sequential, random world, a random local and random world. And then I have a variable that's defined as being the enum button state. And whenever one of these uh, radio buttons is pressed, I change this state variable to uh, whatever the appropriate value is. For the radio button of sequential, I change the current state to button state dot sequential. For random local, I change the button state to button state dot random local. And for random world, I change it to button state dot random world. And if we look at the code in the run button, basically we're setting a label that's fairly large that says what the running state is. And the fact is the checkbox repeat dot checked being checked sort of overrides everything because essentially what we're saying if we're playing something and it's in repeat mode it doesn't really matter whether it's sequential random local or random world it's just going to repeat that one until that checkbox is unchecked it's just going to repeat whatever is playing a music video or whatever so in fact I, I have this first in the code which just causes it to override everything if this is checked the running mode is always going to be repeat. And then I have a switch statement that says Kate's button state sequential for the curve state. I set the running mode to sequential or I display it as being sequential. Uh, Kate's button state random local I display the running mode as being uh, random local. And button state random world I display the running mode as being random world. And the default, which of course should never happen, <laughs> is that the running state is unknown. And one other thing you notice is that I use a center to screen. So if we compile and run this, and I initially press the run button, you know, so it says running mode is sequential because by default the uh, sequential radio button is pressed. And if I change this to uh, random local and press this, I get running mode is random local. And if I change it to random world and press the run button, I get running mode is random world. And if I have the check button checked, and press this, I get running mode as repeat and that overrides any of these. For instance, if I select this and press it, it's still repeat. Press sequential and press it, it's still repeat and so on. And one gotcha I discovered, which is really kind of bizarre, is that I initially had sequential set as check and I thought, oh, that's cool, it'll come up and sequential will always be checked. But I ran it, and in fact, 
random world was checked and I tried many things to get it to to not do that because it was checked no matter what I moved these around and it was still checked and everything else and it turned out what the problem was was the uh, oh well I actually selected here what the problem was was the the tab index and the tab index of this because of the order I created it in was one and these tab indexes were two and three or something along those lines I think these were like 48 and 49 or something I have no idea why but I basically changed the tab index of uh, the sequential button to be one and change the tab index of the uh, random local to be two and the tab index of the random world to be three and the tab index of the uh, the checkbox to be four and finally the tab index of the button to be five and everything worked fine this it was set to checked and it was indeed checked you know it wasn't the tab index that was determining what was checked it was the checked property at that point so if you create something like that you might keep that in mind the tab index really has a major effect on how the button states are displayed well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe